These are the parts you're going to need to build your spout bot. We've got lead-free solder here. This is going to be used to connect our, make metal connections and uh, conduct electricity and hold our circuit together. Uh, we've got some hot glue. That's a hot glue stick. We'll use that to hold the parts together that don't need to conduct electricity. We have two resistors here. These are 41 ohm resistors. You can use anywhere from around 40 to 200 ohms. It kind of depends on how bright you want your LEDs to, to be and what types of LEDs you, you choose. We've got our LEDs here. These are two uh, water clear blue LEDs and four paper clips. These are two 1.5 volt to 3 volt motors which work well with our batteries which happen to be 1.5 volt double A's and together in series they are 3 volts. Uh, then we have two bottle caps from uh, water bottles, some shrink wrap tubing, uh, and this comes in a lot of different sizes and colors. We've chosen uh, 1 16th inch and I believe 1 8th inch uh, tubing. And we've got some sliding lever switches here, the, or I should say sliding switches. These are sliding single pole double throw switches. Uh, we've bent one of the poles out of the, uh, one of the throws out of the way, so it's just a single pole single throw switch. So we're going to use those as on off switches. And then we have uh, single pole double throw lever switches and we're going to use uh, the bo one pole and both of the throws for those. And then we have wire and this is 22 gauge insulated wire. We've chosen a number of different colors, green, blue, red, yellow and white. And basically we chose those colors because they're going to show up better in the video when we um, put them on top of our battery holder. And this is our AA battery holder. So those are the parts that you're going to need to build the spout bot. Now we're going to talk about the tools.